It all begins right here. This is where the American Civil War begins on April 12, 1861. This is a defining moment in American history. It's going to be the flashpoint of where the American Civil War begins, which really defines us as a nation today. Instead of being these separate states, we became more of a real United States, a more permanent union. The Federals were in a much more difficult position than the Confederates were. We have the 84 officers and men. Plus there was a group of civilian employees from the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, about 28 of them. There were approximately 7,000 Confederate soldiers in the Charleston Harbor area. 43 Confederate guns were directed at the fort and fired upon it during the course of the bombardment. A 10-inch mortar is going to be fired from Fort Johnson, located about a mile and a quarter from where we are now. That 10-inch shell explodes directly over top of Fort Sumter, and that's a signal for every Confederate gun that bears on the fort to open fire, and the bombardment will begin and continue for 34 hours. Over 3,000 rounds of ammunition would be fired at the fort, uh, creating significant damage. We know that at least 600 rounds of ammunition hit the exterior walls of this fort, but none will really penetrate the five-foot thick brick walls. Solid cast iron cannonballs heated until they're red hot in furnaces, loaded in mortars, and fired and come up at a high angle over the walls of the fort. They come crashing down through the roofs of the barracks buildings and officers' quarters, set them on fire. It's the fires on the inside in the buildings that forces Fort Sumter to surrender. There were a few minor injuries. No one was actually killed on either side during the bombardment. The only recorded death is a officer's horse on Sullivan's Island. You have the surrender on the afternoon of April 13, 1861, and the actual evacuation taking place uh, about 4 o'clock on the afternoon of the 14th, and uh, Federals move out and the Confederates move in. When this war is over with, approximately 620,000 American soldiers have lost their lives. If you take all the American soldiers who died of all causes in the American Revolution, War of 1812, Mexican War, the Indian Wars, Spanish-American War, World War I, World War II, and Korea, and add them all up, there's still more American soldiers who died in the Civil War than all those wars added together. Out of this war, we get the National Cemetery System, the Medal of Honor. Memorial Day. Also, slavery ends, and we get the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments. So, this is where all that begins that leads to all those things. It begins right here. Mm -hmm.